Today we are going to discuss primary or essential hypertension which is also known as hypertension of unknown cause. Because the cause of the hypertension is not known that's why it is known as primary hypertension. If the cause of hypertension is known then it is labeled as secondary hypertension. Secondary hypertension. Now we are going to discuss primary essential hypertension, primary or essential hypertension just from physiology point of view. We are not going into the details in uh, medicine and treatment and management of the pati uh, patients with hypertension. Now basically we have discussed different types of hypertensions uh, in our last uh, few lectures which were basically due to the uh, angiotensin volume overload or vasoconstriction. But Today we are going to discuss the primary essential hypertension but the kidney has some role in the uh, regulation of uh, or the cause of primary hypertension. So this this topic we are uh, is again being discussed under the role of kidney in long term regulation of arterial pressure. Now basically out of all the people with hypertension 90 to 95 percent have the primary or essential hypertension of 90 to 95 percent of all the people with hypertension about uh, out of all the people with hypertension 90 to 95 percent is having primary or essential hypertension so it just simply it means that the, the prevalence of primary or essential hypertension is very much high. Although the exact cause of the primary hypertension is not known. But there are a lot of risk factors associated with the essential hypertension. So basically in some of the people with primary or essential hypertension there is a strong hereditary tendency. In some people, there is a strong hereditary tendency. They will be absolutely fine, but their siblings or their parents will have essential hypertension. So they will also have essential hypertension. That's why some of the people in the, the, the primary hypertension run in their families. So one of the risk factor is basically the hereditary tendency or they acquire it in their genes. Then after hereditary tendency, excess weight gain and sedentary lifestyle accounts for 60-65 to 70% of risk for developing primary hypertension. Now the second biggest or uh, one of the biggest risk for developing the primary or essential hypertension is excess weight gain, obesity and sedentary lifestyle. Now the nowadays the uh, the lifestyle lifestyle of the people most of the people is very much sedentary because they have to uh, work on uh, on the office chair and table and they are not uh, doing a lot of physical exertions so the lifestyle become uh, sedentary and on top of that due to the poor uh, eating habits most of the people uh, gain weight and which is basically contributing to around 65 to 70 percent of the risk for developing the primary or essential hypertension. Now the cause of the primary hypertension is unknown but some of the characteristics some of the characteristic of the primary hypertension due to obesity they are known. And the characteristics of primary hypertension which are basically due to obesity or excess weight gain include increased cardiac output. So one of the characteristics of primary hypertension or essential hypertension that is due to the increased uh, excess weight gain or obesity is increased cardiac output. So increased or high cardiac output is due to the not only due to the increase in weight but it is also due to increase in the BMR 
and increase in the growth of tissues now the heart the human heart is basically like a pump and it is basically pumping blood if this pump is uh, basically pumping blood in the body which is basically around 70 kg then it will have to exert a, a certain amount of work but if the same body is increased due to weight gain or obesity the size of the body increase due to weight gain or due to obesity then this pump will have to do a lot of work to basically pump the blood into this extra uh, adipose tissue which has been gained, uh, gained due to uh, poor eating habits or due to sedentary lifestyle so the workload of the heart increase which basically ulti uh, lead to increase in the cardiac output and cardiac output is basically the amount of work that is done by the heart per minute so increased weight of the adipose tissue is one factor which lead to the increased cardiac output but on top of that there is increase in basic metabolic rate the the all the organs in the body the kidneys the the lungs and other uh, organs in the body they start growing so their their basal metabolic rate also increases because they are increasing in size which again lead to increase in cardiac output and now the heart has to pump more and more blood to fulfill the needs of these growing organs and these organs with increased basal metabolic rate because their demand for consumption of the nutrients is increasing so this is one characteristics or characteristic of the primary or essential hypertension that is basically due to obesity or excess weight gain the second characteristic of primary or essential hypertension is increased sympathetic activity in the kidneys now whenever the sympathetic activity increases we know that there is vasoconstriction and basically when vasoconstriction increases the peripheral resistance the peripheral resistance also increase when the peripheral resistance increase the arterial pressure also increase and when the arterial pressure remains high for a long time then hypertension develops so increased sympathetic activity in people with obesity or excess weight gain also leads to primary or essential hypertension or it is one of the characteristics of primary or essential hypertension now how this increased sympathetic activity occur in obesity this is a phenomenon which is not completely understood but increased sympathetic sympathetic activity do occur in obese people and it leads to sympath uh, vasoconstriction increased vasoconstriction which ultimately leads to increased peripheral resistance and increased peripheral resistance lead to increased arterial pressure which uh, when remains uh, high for a long time leads to hypertension because arterial pressure is a product of cardiac output into peripheral resistance so if cardiac output increase or the peripheral resistance increase due to any reason then the arterial pressure will increase the arterial pressure will ultimately increase and the arterial pressure when remains elevated for a long time uh, leads to hypertension Another characteristic of the primary hypertension is increased angiotensin and aldosterone level. Now, because the sympathetic activity in obese people is high, due to sympathetic sympathetic activation, there is a release of renin in the body, and this renin ultimately leads to increased formation of angiotensin in the body. 
and angiotensin then ultimately leads to increased release of aldosterone now angiotensin and aldosterone they they basically increase the arterial pressure due to vasoconstriction due to vasoconstriction and increased volume overload so renin and angiotensin basically angiotensin and aldosterone they lead to increased arterial pressure with the, uh, due to increased vasoconstriction and increased volume overload these are uh, these are the uh, the things which we have discussed in detail our in our previous lecture but this is one characteristic of the primary hypertension and this increase in angiotensin and aldosterone level which is basically due to increased sympathetic activity is also a characteristic of primary hypertension and it occurs mostly in people with obesity and uh, excess weight and that's why people with obesity and excess weight and people with sedentary lifestyle and people with poor eating habits have around 60 75 to uh, sorry 65 to 70% of risk for developing the primary or essential hypertension now the last characteristic of the primary hypertension is basically the impaired renal pressure natriuresis mechanism impaired renal pressure natriuresis mechanism now we have again this uh, this thing, we have discussed this thing again and again in previous lectures that whenever the arterial pressure increases whenever the arterial pressure increases the amount of the amount of water or fluid and the amount of salt that is basically going out in urine increases the amount of water and salt going out in the urine increases so when due to increased arterial pressure when the amount of water that is that goes out or that is excreted in urine increases it is known as pressure diuresis and when the amount of sodium or salt that is excreted in urine due to increased arterial pressure when this amount increases this is known as pressure natriuresis in people with primary hypertension they have impaired renal pressure natriuresis mechanism in these people the arterial pressure is high the arterial pressure is high but the amount of sodium or the amount of salt going out in urine is not increasing it is not increasing so they have impaired renal pressure natriuresis mechanism so these are some of the characteristics of primary or essential hypertension which is basically uh, contributing to around 90 to 95% of all kinds of hypertension and the exact cause of this hypertension is not known but weight gain in sedentary lifestyle contribute to around 65 to 70% of risk for developing the primary hypertension and the characteristic of primary hypertension that are basically due to the obesity include increased cardiac output which ultimately leads to increased arterial pressure and then increased sympathetic activity which again leads to increased peripheral resistance and increased arterial pressure and then increased amount of angiotensin and aldosterone in the body which again leads to vasoconstriction and volume overload both of which causes increase in arterial pressure and finally the renal the renal pressure natriuresis mechanism is impaired in people with primary hypertension and these people people with hypertension are basically at risk of developing a renal failure due to all these mechanisms so that's uh, a small lecture about the primary essential hypertension thanks a lot for watching the video